finder gravitational force of attraction find the gravitational force of attraction or gravitation force of attraction between a sphere of mass capital m between a sphere of mass capital m and a rod and uniform rod of mass small m and length capital l length capital l placed such that placed such that r is the distance of such that r is the distance of r is the distance between the center of sphere and r is the distance of the center of sphere and the near end of the rod near end of the rod in the diagram this is a sphere this is a sphere and uh, and uh, this is a rod of mass small m this is the sphere of mass capital m o is the center of the sphere and uh, this is the rod of mass small m and we can uh, denote the distance of the near end of the rod from the center of the sphere length of uh, the rod is capital l this is uh, capital l capital l is the length of the rod and we can denote the distance of the near end of the rod from the center of the sphere small r is the distance of the near end of the rod from the center of the sphere now we can denote a small portion or small element of the rod this is the small element which is denoted by uh, which is, uh, which is uh, shaded by green color and this small element this small element has the length dx and mass dm this small element has the mass dm d small m and we can denote the distance of this small element from the center of the sphere so small r yeah, x is the distance of the small element and at the near end x equal to r and at the farther end uh, x is equal to r plus l dm is the mass of the small element of the rod let dm be the mass of let dm be the mass of a small element small element of uh, with uh, dx of length dx which is at a distance which is at a distance x which is at a distance x from the center of uh, the sphere and also here we can write small element of the rod dm be the mass of the small element of uh, length uh, dx of rod which is at a distance x from the center o of the sphere from the center o of the sphere of mass capital m of mass capital m therefore dm is equal to lambda dx where lambda is where uh, dm equal lambda dx where uh, mass per unit length of the rod mass of uh, mass per unit length of the rod of length capital L and mass capital M is given by uh, of mass it should be small m lambda equals small m by L it should be small m by L because capital M is the mass of the sphere therefore dm equals small m by L dot dx there should be correction small m dot uh, small m by L dx dm equal to small m by L dx the gravitational the gravitational force of attraction the gravitational force of attraction 
on this small element on this small element of uh, length dx and mass dm small element of mass dm uh, due to the sphere of mass capital m is given by df equal g g capital m small dm divided by x square divided by x square here we can denote small dm dm is the mass of the small element and this dm uh, this small element is attracted by the sphere with a force df small element of mass dm is at a distance x from the sphere of mass capital m equal g capital m g capital m in this case lambda is equal to small m by l here we have to make a correction so therefore dm equal to small m by l dx small m by capital l into dx so gm lambda dx lambda dx divided by x square where lambda is the mass per unit length gm in place of lambda what we can write uh, now here we can write uh, gm lambda dx by x square then gm small m by capital l dx uh, x to the power minus 2 dx that is df equal gm small m by l x to the power minus 2 dx therefore total force total force of gravitation total force of gravitation between acting between the rod acting between the rod and the sphere is given by f equal integration df x is equal r to x equal r plus l at the near end uh, x is equal to r at near end x is equal to r and at the further end of the rod x is equal to r plus l so uh, r is the distance of the near end of the rod from the center o of the sphere now putting the expression of df integration dm m by l x to the power minus 2 dx r to r plus l equal gm m by l are constants so we can bring outside integration gm m by l integration r to r plus l x to the power minus 2 dx gm m by l under bracket x to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 r to r plus l equal g m m by l minus 1 by x r to r plus l equal g m m by l 1 by x r plus l to r here limits have been changed gmm by l 1 by r minus 1 by r plus l gmm by l doing lcm r into r plus l in the numerator we should have r plus l minus r therefore gmm divided by r plus l f equal g m m divided by r plus r into r plus l. this is the gravitational force of attraction between a sphere of mass capital m and uniform rod of mass m and l length l place such that r is the distance between the center of the sphere and the near end of the rod so this is the sphere and the rod r is the distance of the near end l is l is the length of the rod and capital m is the mass of the sphere the rod is attracted by the sphere rod is attracted by the sphere with a force f with a force f and this gravitational force of attraction between the rod and the sphere is gmm divided by r into r plus l